We wanted to open up about our breakup. It was real and it was absolutely miserable. It just built and built and built like you didn't know who you were. When you're hurt, you hurt the people that hurt for you. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a perfect example of what happened. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Oh my god, I did not know this was so bad. So I made this post on Instagram and look at my face guys. I mean, for those of you ever wondering like why does Gabrielle stay with a man like me? It's obvious. Know. Like my Instagram is just full of proof. What more proof do you need, Gabrielle? I'm just saying it guys. I'm not in any way suggesting I'm the best guy in the world, okay? But I'm definitely the second or the third. But Gabrielle is always getting comments like why do you stay with that loser? Why do you stay with that pleb? Do you not see that when I clench my butt cheeks and squeeze my face for a minute, I turn purple and I have a giant blood vein on my neck and my left eye? Do you have that? Probably not. Are you psychotic? Probably not. Are you mentally stable? Probably and that's boring. And that's exactly why Gabrielle's mine forever, right, baby? Exactly. Say it. Yes. Say it. Yes. Say it with more passion. Babe, when someone points a gun at you, guys, future, you know, reference, Jack and Gab, pro tip here. When someone's pointing a gun at you, don't try to bite it. That's, that's cute. That's... No, they're not gonna say, oh wow, that's really cute. What's your Instagram? Like, that's not happening, Gabrielle. Really? They might ask you for your Venmo or your Tinder, but that's a long shot. Darn it. Typically, when someone's got a gun to your face, they're not necessarily asking for a date. You know what I'm saying? They're asking for it's your money. Finger. All right, I'm, I'm gonna stop. The most embarrassing thing just happened to me. I'm gonna talk quiet, because I don't, I have to tell him this. So I'm walking into this restaurant, and the door's locked, and I just threw my whole body into it. It's this glass door, so now everyone in this restaurant, granted there's not that many people eating at three in the afternoon, but everyone here basically just got done witnessing. You know when a bird hits your window and it scares everyone, it's kind of disturbing? Imagine a human being. That's pretty much what just happened. I was surprised that I didn't break. I, I don't even understand. Door. I was like, no, Jack, this door. And he like just did not hear me. You know what the funny me. part is? I just realized the door is on the other side. So it wasn't even the yeah. door to this restaurant. It's like to apartments upstairs. <laughs> they definitely heard it. You could not not have heard it. <laughs> I broke the glass, guys. Yesterday, we didn't film a video. I'm sure you guys noticed the video didn't go up. We were working on the diet guides and they are literally almost done. And I'm really excited for you guys to see it because we have worked so hard on it. Everything in it is literally so perfect. The puppies were sitting on my lap and I was typing furiously. The diet guides and the workout routines are freaking awesome. You guys will get more information on the website. By the time you're seeing this video though, it might already it be there. Be up, It'll yeah. be linked down below. It has all the information. I mean, my diet guide and workout routine is 45 lessons. Like, it's intense. Mm -hmm. And they all have a video. They all have paragraphs explaining everything. The rep ranges. Everything. It's everything you'd ever it's want. It's pretty good. And they're pretty funny too. And like, we have like professionals helping us out. So it's not just us being yeah, us. So if you think we're stupid, I I promise. We had some, we had some help. help, but there's yeah. jokes in there, like in the paragraphs, in the videos, like. And it's like we literally typed them out. It's all us. It's us. And you can tell because Gabrielle's lingo is a little bit different than mine. Are we gonna act like we didn't just devour all that food? Oh, says our two takeout boxes. <laughs> I mean, we did some work. We did okay. We didn't do usually bad. Usually we eat a lot more. Yes, usually we do, but you know what? We've been slacking. It was lunchtime. Lunchtime, we're not supposed to eat as much. Okay, guys. So you we have to lean forward. Um, am I lean? Really? What? Why am I? Okay, Gabrielle. These are all things that could have been mentioned before the camera turned on. My bad, I'm just, my bad. guys, we decided we get two shirts on? Yes, okay, I sorry. have two shirts on. Today, we're going to be opening- to take off the shirts, oh, then oh you God. contrast right, a little Gabrielle, bit no, better. I'm, I'm just gonna go not speak. <laughs> guys, we had to move the car because the sun came out, but- They ruined it for We us, wanted so. to open up about our breakup. Um, mm -hmm. I think there's a lot of insight that can be given during, for this, because a lot of you guys comment about it all the time, because we've been bringing it up more and more and more, and when we broke up, we did not turn it into yeah. a drama on YouTube. We stopped filming we together. Actually, it was an actual actual breakup like we actually broke up it wasn't we break up and then two weeks later we're back together but we have new merch to promote and it was real and it was absolutely miserable and I don't think that faking serious life events for content is a good idea it mentally is, that will wreck you no I'm saying for the audience I don't care about the person that's doing it like if you want to lie about a breakup for attention I don't care about how you feel about it I'm saying the people that were watching because there's people that have been through breakups and it's not good um, when we broke up it was a mixture of a bunch of things. I would say the most important thing was, so, so normally when someone breaks up, it's normally like, they just don't, they don't click. But sometimes people break up when they should have stayed together just because of like a lack of communication. But there's also times where you have to like take a step back and like look at your relationship and be like, do they need a wake up call? Do they need to realize that they're messing up on something? Cause sometimes someone just won't understand that until you take the point of like breaking up. That's basically what I needed. Cause I was just so angry. I was so miserable. I talked about it 
a while ago, but like I went to school full time, still running my businesses, still doing YouTube, tried to join a fraternity. Gabrielle for the first time wasn't going to the same school as me, so I didn't see her every day. Like it was just all my friends moved away. And this was not last October, but the October before. It was just not good. Um, it was miserable. And, and I basically let it out was, on Gabrielle. Yeah. And, and he was trying to make everyone happy, making his parents happy by doing school full time, by doing a fraternity to make his friends happy. And I feel like he was pulling himself in so many directions that he didn't know. Like you didn't know who you were. I did. I knew who I was. I was just in denial of it because I wanted to make other people happy. And I also wasn't. A, I wasn't confident. I didn't know what I could accomplish on my own. I had never had to basically go on my own before. But at the same time, I had never had an opportunity to do so. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was never in a situation where I needed to. You know, I always lived with my parents growing up with, with school. When I went to school, I admittedly didn't try so hard. That was Gabrielle's thing. It was never my thing. I was just gonna go to school for business and I didn't need good grades. So I was like in this weird predicament where suddenly all of a sudden, oh wait, my grades do matter now. School's hard now. Fraternity, girlfriend, YouTube, everything was just, just wasn't working. And I basically got so angry and ended up letting it out on the only person that I knew. That's what happens. When you're hurt, you hurt the people that hurt for you. When I'm mad, I don't go on Instagram and I'm not attacking our audience. You know, I don't do that. You let it out on people you know won't leave you. And like for me, I was okay with it for quite a while. I'd say for a few months, like I was like, it's okay, he's coping with stuff. It's gonna get better, it's gonna be okay. But then it just built and built and built and I was like, okay, I need to stand up for myself and I need to like give him a wake up call. Like, come on Jack, it's either you need to better yourself for me just because you're not happy with yourself and you're taking it out on me or like we need a break and we ended up taking a break because of it and it helped us it made us well, yes it helped a lot um because it's not until you realize what it's like to lose something that you care about it like and that just applies to absolutely everything but especially humans like when you lose your human it's not good you can lose <laughs> human. you know what i'm saying though like that like it's different yeah, like your person you your lose best your friend. favorite pants you're not gonna be very upset for very long <laughs> at least i'd hope not but you lose your boyfriend your girlfriend that hurt that's like a deep you i can't compare it to anything Anything else because for guys it's different when a girl goes through a breakup they feel lost when a guy goes through a breakup it's like a pride thing like they don't want to lose what's theirs what was also so weird about our situation was as Jack mentioned like I was at a different school but I also for the first time in a really long time I was making friends which sounds really weird so I was always busy I was joining a sorority which is something that I was super excited about and unlike Jack who was kind of like trying to make himself want to do I was like oh my gosh I'm gonna do this I'm gonna meet so many people and I literally had stuff every single night for it and the only time we'd be together was like us filming and trying to get stuff done. But by the time really we'd be hard. filming, by the time we'd be filming, I'd already gone to school. I had already done my fraternity stuff. I'd already studied, done my homework. All things I just didn't want to do. Like things that I felt were just taking away from my potential at what I actually wanted to do, which was making videos for you guys. That's always what I've wanted to do. That's my whole life. That's been it. Gabrielle knows this, my family knows it. It's always just been making YouTube videos. And it just didn't make sense to me why I was doing all this stuff until we broke up. And I was like, yeah. wait, this is what it feels like to lose your business, to lose your dream, to lose your dream girl. It quickly made me realize, wait, this fraternity is not important to me. These people I'm so eager to impress or They're so scared really... of their opinions, yeah. they don't matter to me. It's stuff that literally so many of my friends have been going through. Like, you start growing as a person, you're figuring out like who you are as almost an adult like you're becoming your future self which is kind of cheesy and weird to say but like you're shaping into the person that you're gonna be for the rest of your life you're learning how to be the best version of yourself but you're also learning that's my puppy that's what makes me happy right there <laughs> yes it's not like other people's opinions it's not trying to make everyone else happy because if you're constantly trying to make everyone else happy you're forgetting about yourself that it's also makes me happy <laughs> And if you're forgetting about yourself, then you're just gonna be miserable. Yeah, I, I, that's basically what happened. Over time, I'm sure we'll give more details, because obviously we want to like lead you on for clickbait or whatever, I don't know, that's not true. But I figured we'd talk about it, because people have been asking us to. But I'm gonna go on a little spiel right now, guys. You guys gotta understand, I know a lot of you guys are like in middle school, and you're worried about all things that absolutely do not matter. Like, they absolutely do not matter. When you're in middle school, take your privilege for granted that and that nothing you do matters it really doesn't matter it's only setting you up for what you want to do in high school high school is a little bit different now it does matter the people you hang out with in high school are either going to be your best friends for the rest of your life or you're not gonna have any friends okay because in high school things do matter because that dictates what you can do after high school so it's essentially setting yourself up for success as you go but in the process we tend to overthink 
and take things too seriously. Okay, people that got a 4.0 from our school are in the same exact school I'm in. It's kind of sad, to be honest, but it's hey, the truth. Hey, stop adding me. <laughs> not you, I'm not talking about you. You don't go to my school, well, but I'm I mean, saying like, don't overthink little things that do not matter because they do not. If, if I could go back to middle school, I would just beg myself to do what I wanted. Play video games, start making YouTube videos, learn how to edit because that's, that's what you want to do. Learn how to cook because that's what you want to do. Don't try to play sports, don't try to run track, that just makes you anxious and sad. Why would you want to do that? Because the cool kids are doing it? It doesn't matter when you're in middle school. The same thing applies in high school too. In high school, focus on making friends, developing true skills that revolve around what you're interested in. And you need to take this into consideration when you decide what you want to do because if you are just going in every direction except the one you want to, you are setting yourself up for failure. How many kids from our school went to college and dropped out within a month? Oh my gosh, there are so many. Because they've so never weird. had to basically yeah. make... Guys, we went to a preppy private Catholic school. So all these kids were pretty much sheltered their whole lives. When they get into the real world, it's like, wait, I have no purpose outside of my high school sports. Yeah, I don't know what I want to, to do. they're used to like mom and dad doing everything for them. The, well, yeah, like they're used to, you know, not having to do anything for themselves and all of a sudden they have to, but they don't enjoy it because they've set their lives up for like no real fulfillment. Fulfillment is the key. Fulfillment is the key. Okay, it doesn't matter how hard it is. I would rather work all day long for something that I felt fulfilled. For example, I get up at two in the morning and then six in the morning for my <laughs> so dog. But it doesn't feel like work. But if I had to get up at 2 in the morning or 6 in the morning to go and do homework, I would die, guys. That I would me die. This morning studying before my exam. I would not be able to do it. That would just not be something I could do. When you do good on a test that you do not care about, you feel pleasure, you do not feel happiness. You do not feel passionate about that test. You do not. And if you don't know the difference, that's concerning. The day I figured out that cooking, working out, and you, you know, you don't, le you don't learn this overnight. Just health in general. Those are like my true passions. When you can really figure that out. Like we've worked months on our diet guides, our workout routines. And it doesn't fun. feel like it's work. It's been so much fun. But if I spent that amount of time on an essay, <laughs> even if I got an A, I would not care. I would not care. Because it's, it's not fulfilling. I don't see this as dictating where my life goes. It has no part in it. For me, it's just different because, like, that type of thing is fulfilling to me. Because, like, I'm wanting to because become a doctor. Because you're going to, but not very many people watching this are going always, to be a doctor. Yeah. I'm saying find what you like to do and sort of structure your life in that direction from an early age. Don't wait till college to decide you want to be a YouTuber. You're too late. It'll be way too You are way too late. You just don't know the culture. You don't know the way it works, okay? When you want to do something, you will have started doing it or thinking about it from a very young age. I've wanted to do YouTube my whole life. I've been working out for a very long time, eating a lot my whole life. <laughs> so, you get the idea. But here's the thing, even if someone's telling you whenever you're younger, like, oh no, don't do that, don't go make YouTube videos, because that's like a waste of your time, where are you gonna go with that? Dude, Take it into consideration, you should but 100%. don't, Everyone, ev don't stop yourself from doing it. Most people around you want the best you know. for you. You should take it with a grain of salt, Yeah. but pursue what you want. Like, no one believed in YouTube, no one knew what it was gonna be, but I believed in it, so I, I kept doing it. But, I didn't even believe but in that, it half the time that we were doing But that doesn't mean I'd be on Twitter every day talking about how I'm hated on, or I have such a hard life, or, you know, I'm making a rap song about how my teachers are stupid and I'm so smart. I took everything into consideration when I was deciding what I wanted to do. It just, there comes a point where you just realize as a human, as an individual, as something that is not like anyone else, with different experiences and perspectives, you have a very particular brain that tells you what you want to do. And no one else can relate to that. And you shouldn't expect them to. But you should 100% take that into consideration when you're deciding what you want to do in life because it will help you avoid losing your girlfriend because you went in the wrong direction. And that is the point yes. I wanted to make and it took me a very long time too. <laughs> we got a little bit off topic. But I am but. confident that anyone watching this just learned a lot. Mm -hmm. you, you just got served some game. Yeah. So. You need some real talk, like someone actually talking to you about life sometimes on YouTube because I feel like everyone, or a lot of people on here are just like, oh, buy this, let's do this, everything's perfect all the time. No, there's days where it sucks. There's days where you're fighting. Not everything is perfect, not everything Yes. Uh, yeah. Agreed. Are we good? <laughs> Thanks, babe. You're yeah. saying that all days I don't are mean not your good. Sarcasm. No. Out of my car. Babe, guys, not I'm every sorry, day is good. I know. Gonna I repeat great. myself sometimes, but what I say, I actually mean. Ooh. Okay, guys. This is this is happy family bonding if I've ever seen it. We're just gonna watch. 
That is so cute, guys. Anyways, my sweet mate is sleeping. He doesn't want us to wake him up. And so we are going to end the video now. Thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in our workout routines and our diet guides, that'll be linked down below as well as our merch. Thank you so much for your guys' support. What is going on? Everyone that owns a dog is just like, this is normal dog stuff, but for us, this is like super special. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see you in the next one.